Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Flores Becker. Today we are going to look at dynamics and what it does to your guitar playing, in this case your guitar strumming. I'm going to start with playing the electrical guitar, but later on in this video I will also discuss the acoustical guitar. Let's get started. At the beginning of this video I played a funky riff which started at the E minor 7th chord with some embellishments and then going to the D sus2 chord and then resolving to the D major 7th chord and sounds like this When you look at strumming and you look at dynamics, uh, dynamics is playing loud versus playing softly. And many times uh, guitar players look into playing loud and or even louder and that would create dynamics. But when looking at dynamics, uh, many guitar players are uh, at first unaware that playing softly is evenly as important. And when playing softly, you would like to play softly without losing your tempo. Okay, let's do a comparison. First, let's play loudly. Here we go. Now only softly. When looking at strumming on a guitar, there are two main techniques that I use uh, when it comes to playing dynamics. And before we are going to look into those two techniques, first we have to look into which type of motions that we can make with our strumming hand. So place your right hand flat on your guitar and then make this motion. This is what I would like to call cleaning the guitar. If you would uh, have a cloth underneath your hand, you would be cleaning your guitar like that. Okay, and the second motion that we can make with our wrist in the right hand would be this motion, which we can call the screwdriver motion. So when you're strumming the guitar, these two motions are intertwined. Okay, so now let's look at the two main techniques that I used. The first is your grip. Don't squeeze your pick. So you might think that when you loosen the tension on your grip, uh, holding your pick, you might lose your pick. But that's not the case. Um, I'm using uh, a plectrum with a grip, which helps because when you're in the spotlights on a stage, um, your fingers would get sweaty. And then without a, a sort of like a, a gravel on your pick, your pick might uh, just slip, slip away. And then I'll loosen the tension on my fingers that way that my pick can move up and down without bending. So the pick should keep its original form, no bending involved. It should move freely between your fingers. And you can experiment with how loose you'll have your pick between your fingers. So when the pick is loose between my fingers, my sound on the guitar will sound smooth and relaxed as well, like this. Compared to when I would squeeze my fingers, it would sound like this. So there's a big difference. So the second technique that I use is a slap technique and it's a whip-like motion as if you would give someone a pat on the head, like this. So give it a whip, like that. So within my strumming I'm using this technique to play accents, like this. Like that. 
And there's actually a third technique because this slap technique that I'm playing in a downstroke can also be played in an upstroke like this. So playing without accents would sound like this. And now with the accents with the slap technique. difference. Okay, so now grab your acoustical guitar and let's look at the strumming and this technique on the acoustical guitar. So looking at the acoustical guitar, now I'm going to strum an E minor 7 chord. Then I'll strum the C added 9 chord to a D major chord with a sus4 back to a D chord. And sounds like this. So if you have skipped the first part of this video, I'm going to explain the technique that I use in full in this part of the video as well. So if you have watched the first part, you'll maybe uh, hear it twice, but it doesn't hurt to hear something twice because this is a really important lesson to learn. So when you look at strumming, the dynamics are a really important part of that. And dynamics are established when you uh, play loudly and you play softly. And most guitar players are unaware that the most important thing about learning to play dynamics on your guitar is not playing as loud as possible, but it's playing as softly as possible. So the first thing I do when I want to learn to play dynamics on the guitar is learn how to play softly. Well, let's make a comparison again. First, let's play loudly. which sounds a bit harsh. Now let's play softly. So which techniques do I use when playing softly? So when I look at the grip of my pick, I would like to have it flexible. It should be able to move between my fingers up and down without bending the pick. So loosen your grip on your pick until you're able to move it up and down without bending the pick. And of course you can experiment with how much flexibility you uh, give your pick. Playing with a tight grip sounds like this. And playing with a loose grip sounds like this. Okay, so your grip is really important when it comes to sound and dynamics. So now what we have to look into is our strumming hand in general. And you can make two motions with your wrist. You can make a flat motion. When you lay your hand flat on the guitar top like this, you can make a motion like this, which is a flat motion. And when you take it off your top, you can also move your wrist like this, which is more like a screwdriver or a key turning motion. So 
while playing the guitar, I'm using both these motions and they're intertwined. The next technique that I use is a slap technique that is played with my right hand, which comes from the screwdriver motion. I'm turning my hand like this, and then I slap my pick through the strings, but I'm visualizing a wall just behind my first string that I run into. So that's my stopping point. So a whip-like motion. Slap. And there's a third technique that you can use, which is also a slap technique, but then in the upstroke. So summarized, first look at your grip on your pick. Second, learn to play the slap downwards, then learn to play the slap upwards, and also focus on playing softly without losing your tempo. So when playing in a certain tempo, like for instance, one, two, three, four, and... Try to play softly without losing your tempo. And then you can play with the dynamics. Play loudly versus playing softly. And using the slap technique to play accents within your strumming part. Everything together. Three and four and... So thus far, the secrets to strumming using dynamics. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and also hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.